What's going on guys, Tall Fisherman Jay here, and today, by the title of this video, you already know somewhat about what we're doing today. We are going to do something pretty unique. I had this idea to go ahead and make fishing lures out of, yes, you guessed it, Yeezy laces. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with uh, what Yeezys are, they are a uh, shoe um, made by Kanye West. These come off of the Yeezy Boost uh, 350s, the Adidas. Uh, and they have this um, little pattern here. Now, I was taking a look at some uh, Yeezy laces and I said, you know what? That's a pretty interesting pattern. Um, a shoelace kind of resembles like a trick worm. So what I did was I, made, I went ahead and I made uh, customized Yeezy laces. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this so you can do it on your own. And later on in the video, I'm going to go out and hopefully, now I'm not promising anything, hopefully catch a fish. Now, if I catch even one fish, I'd be pretty happy and I'm gonna show it anyway, even if it's just one fish. But let me show you guys how to make these. And let me start out by just saying, I really, really want you guys to go outside the box. Now, you know, I like to have a lot of fun on this channel and do some uh, pretty funny and unique things. So I challenge you guys to go out and make your own interesting lures like this. Send me some links to videos, see if you can catch some fish, go out and have some fun. I had a ton of fun making these and I'm gonna have a bunch of fun fishing with them trying to catch some fish. So let's get right into it. Okay, so obviously the first thing you're going to need is some form of shoe lace. Now, um, I picked the Yeezy laces because it does have this very unique design on it. Um, they come in black and white and then they come in white and gray, as you can see right here. Let me try to focus on that. Yeah, so white and gray right there and then the black and gray right there. So what you're going to do is take your shoelace and cut it to an appropriate size. Now I made a bunch of different size ones. I have one here, it's about a two inch. Uh, I made a pretty long one, about six inch, uh, four inch white one, and then another two inch uh, white one here. So what you do is you go out and get yourself a uh, jig head. Now I have a 1 16th ounce jig heads on these. Um, you can try whatever you'd like. Uh, these will work best, uh, so right here. Sorry about the focus, guys. So those would work best, they're about 1 16th ounce. And what you're gonna do is take the jig head with the shoelace, and it's pretty simple. So just put the shoelace inside the hook and guide it through just as you would like a Senko or anything like that, and guide it through. So now the problem that I came across making these lures is once it got to the top here, it kept moving down just because it's a shoelace and it's not gonna stick to a, a metal hook. It's not, the fabric's not gonna stick. So what you need to do is also get some super glue. So what you're gonna do is put super glue right at the end of that and push it against the jig head and make sure it's secure on the tip so it doesn't fall off. If you get the right super glue, it should dry from about 10 to 20 seconds and it should be tight to the point where when you pull it, it will not come off. For extra protection, what also you will need, this is optional, but I would highly suggest it, is the little tiny rubber bands. They're about uh, this big, they're like the size of a dime. And what you're gonna do after the super glue is put on is just wrap the jig head around with the rubber band. Now, I wish this would focus so you can see, but the rubber band is right along, right there. I wrapped it around and it is pretty secure. It's not coming off. So after you do that, dab a little super glue on there, make sure it's secure. And this is what you're left with. It's pretty simple to make. So let me go over really quick. You're gonna need, for one, shoelaces. Second one you're gonna need is super glue. Third is a jig head, preferably 1 16th ounce. And that's pretty much it, you guys. After that, you are good to go on your Yeezy or regular shoelace lure. So now that I have these made, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to head out on the water. It's a bit overcast today. We are expecting some rain, but I'm gonna try anyway to catch anything. Bass, snakehead, cichlid, anything I can get my hands on. Hopefully something bites. I have a good feeling about this. I tested these out, and when you put them in the water, they do act a lot like trick worms. So let's go ahead and get out in the water, see what we can get.
Oh, I got him. Yes. I got him. Oh my gosh. I've been fighting with this guy for about, I don't know guys, about 15 minutes with the Yeezy Lace. He finally swiped at it. Decent sized tilapia here on the Yeezy Lace. As you guys saw, he bit it. He kept swiping at it left and right, left and right, missing it. I was agitating him and he finally hit the Yeezy Lace. Oh my God, I've been out here for a while trying to get something. I've had a few bites. This was the only guy who commit there you go guys on the yeezy lace so it does work you can't catch a fish kanye did it again look at that fish all right let me get him off the hook all right guys we got no uh, no ow all right you guys i am calling it a day with the yeezy laces now let me just go over what happened i went out I was out for about three or four hours trying to get something with those easy laces that you saw me make at the beginning of the video. Now, I got hooked up with a decent sized tilapia. He swiped at it a few times and he just finally uh, grabbed onto it and I hooked up with him. I also got hooked up or I got bites from a snakehead. I got bites from a peacock bass, but they just weren't committing. Uh, but they are biting it. So it is interesting to see fish biting uh, shoelaces. But like I said at the beginning of the video, I challenge all of you guys. Go out, make some interesting stuff, make it out of shoelaces, try fishing with gummy worms or anything funny and interesting and try to catch some fish. Go out and have some fun with it. If you guys do end up doing that, send me some links uh, to my Instagram. I'll leave the link in the description below as well as on the screen somewhere right here and show me what you guys get. It should be really funny and interesting to watch. If you guys really did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know that you guys like watching these types of videos and for me to make more in the future. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see you later.